Good morning, Steve, your daily shaver. This morning, I'm gonna be trying again my R41. It kind of defeated me the other day, but yesterday, off camera, I shaved just for the hell of it with the above the tie. Okay, I took a bit out of me cheek, but that was unfortunate. Can't blame, well, the razor did it. The razor blade actually is the one responsible. I have received some feedback why I haven't contacted Stan and arranged to swap. I intend to buy from Stan the S1 plate. Okay, and um, if you want change, you've got to talk about what you want changed. Now, I have a YouTube channel. I go and post my shaves and my thoughts on what I shave with and scents and shaving creams, whatever. Life, poetry, um, whatever. You know, if I can, I've got to fill in while I shave with talking. So anybody who comes to my channel and doesn't like me talking is gonna have a huge problem. Am I critical for the hell of being critical? No. Do um, very aggressive razors have a place? Yes. Do I own them? Yes. Do I shave with them? Yes. Um, but an aggressive razor doesn't necessarily mean a bad shave. Or, you know, this morning I went to the extra trouble of prepping my face for this razor. Which meant... Ooh, just got nitchy on the hand. Okay. So this morning, that meant um, spritzing. That meant some coconut oil. That means before I started filming, having the um, hot face towel. Believe me when I say, I do not shave with aggressive razors without taking correct preparation. On the occasions I do, I usually have to give up. Okay? One of the problems... <laughs> One of the great things, it's not a problem, one of the great things about shaving cream is um, once you start shaving daily and using good shaving cream, it's so good for your skin. Your skin actually gets softer. Um, I live in Bundaberg. Queensland's not known for being a shady state. Um, we do call it the Sunshine State for a reason. And the result of that is I get rather a lot of sun. If you look at my arms, you can see what that sun has done. Oh, that looks way worse on the camera than I remember. Anyway, my point is my face was similarly afflicted. But the last year of shaving and getting ever better shaving creams, my face has improved. It, I'm not saying it's made me better looking, but it's made me better looking. My skin is so nice. So, one reason why I recommend wet shaving to other people. It's good for your skin. And being clean shaven may improve your chances with women. It certainly um, improves the, um, the feel of your skin all day. The bit of blood here is not from today, it's from yesterday. coffee after this, I think. Um, is Stan a good guy? Absolutely. My communications with him have been um, top notch. Do I know that you can email him? Hell yeah. Um, would I buy more of his products? Absolutely. What am I looking for then? A redesign. Look, the 2011 version of the R41 Got a bit of grief from people that went, you know, you really need to improve that. Now, I know there's collectors out there that collect the old aggressive version of the R41. They love it. By the way, the morning shaving cream is the um, Fresco Verita, Verita. It is exceptionally light and sweet. Very, all these scents have got so many subsets and layers to them. 
it blooms just with a hot brush. Um, I watched Douglas's blooming soap. I don't think this one needs it, but you know, it's got plenty of scent on the face. Now this is sold as a, let me read it, a scent for sensitive skin. It's supposed to be mild. The scent from this is aromatic. Um, if that's a mild scent, all I can say is that makes some of my pongy scents a bit underrated then. I love it. These new um, Italian barbers are for Christmas. Just load up your shopping cart. Get in early. Um, the only one that I've tried that didn't have any love for me was by far just the sandalwood. Personally, I think they should um, refund people this sandalwood money and um, reformulate it. It ain't, it ain't good sandalwood. Mind you, you can make it a bad sandalwood, just put aftershave in it. Turns out you can't put aftershave in shaving cream and improve it. Why you ask? Just trying to shave it around the area, not make it worse than it already is. Okay, shaving cream changes the consistency of soap. Chemical. What you wanted was the scent, the essential oils in your shaving cream, uh, uh, essential oils in your aftershave, not the alcohol. Now, you'd think that tipping a whole bunch of Old Spice or something into your um, bad smelling shaving cream, even if it was just the, um, what you're after, the uh, essential oils, would improve it. And it doesn't. It turns out that uh, essential oils are much more complex than that, and they interact in cream differently than they do aftershave. Of course, aftershave is mixed with alcohol, so, you know, the chemical reaction there. So people who say that you can I say you can make it worse and you can waste your aftershave. Um, it isn't really worth doing. It does not improve it. Uh, yesterday's above the tie, except for collecting a bit of me chin there and did took the top of the pimple clean off. Um, and the regrowth from yesterday was minimal. It was that's why I picked an aggressive razor today. Um, was just to Otherwise, there's going to be much to shave with. Right, there we go. Plenty of slide left left in this um. Is with it. The areas that I find I always seem to come back later and go, man, why didn't I do better? It's just here on the cheek, under the ear. There we go. That'll be BBS for the day. You can love. Um, aggressive razors. Uh, but you know, if you see something that's a design thing, now there's no point whinging or pointing out problems with a pot alloy because the process to make another cast and die and you know, adjust all your machining for cleaning and polishing ain't gonna happen. Leastwise, not easily. When you've got CNC stuff, CAD. The process required to um, fix things there, minimal. Just a tiny bit here. So, you know, my suggestions are just for things that I know that you can change. I accept there's some things you can't change. You know, some things, if they changed, could be better. If I didn't talk about them, I wouldn't have a reason to stand here and talk into my um, mirror. Which reminds me, I've improved my audio with a Sony microphone um, that hopefully, uh, and as soon as I get the MBN, I'll upload better quality video. You'll be able to see everything on my face in detail, high definition. Unfortunately, our pollies have turned our broadband into dribble band. Don't know why. And our dribble band's taking twice as long and costing twice as much as um, the broadband they promised us. You've got to love politicians. I'm Steve, your daily shaver. Remember, good food, good friends, good shaves, amen. And while it's nice to be important, it's important to be nice.